celebrating the country's birthday. And this city-state is celebrating 50 years of independence. And companies across the island here in Singapore are desperate to be associated with the anniversary and also the brand. Sharjit Lail is getting patriotic in the run-up to the big day, August the 9th. There are more than a million of these National Day fun bags in a country of fewer than six million people. They've been produced and distributed free to Singaporeans to get them into a nationalistic mood ahead of the August 9th celebration. Oh, now Singapore is the company that produced the flags, temporary tattoos and other items for the bag. Honav is very excited to be part of this Golden Jubilee year and uh, it's definitely a great exposure to our company and we have produced some of the items such as flags and uh, we have produced this as, as part of the sponsorship, tattoos to every loved ones that they can put it on your hands. This is definitely a great uh, platform exposure for our company. I'm all ready for National Day. I've collected my National Day fun pack and I've got all the Singapore colours on. Now, you may mock me, but you wouldn't be the only one because there's already websites doing exactly that, including this one, which lists out all the SG50 specials and what you think of them. Despite the mockery, companies are getting on board, putting SG50 on just about everything. So far, it's turned up on Singapore Airlines A380 planes. Two of these have been flying the globe since July. But it's not just Singaporean firms. Multinational ones too, like Britain's Diageo, who felt that with so much invested here in Singapore, they wanted to celebrate the Jubilee by producing special labels for their high-end whiskey. But does this sort of patriotic branding work? A question I pose to one branding expert. Well, some of the companies that are using it are also uh, hopefully looking at some of the sales increase, but looking at our economic analysis that we specialize in, at the moment we've seen very little of it. There's nothing to say that if they're going to put the logo on the products that is going to sell more than before, or if they're not using it, it's going to sell less. So even though the jury's out on whether any of this makes economic sense, there are very few companies who don't want to tap into the jubilee feel-good factor. Cherenjit Lail, BBC News, Singapore. And Sally, it is not just uh, Sharonji that has all of these patriotic uh, merchandise. I also have them here on the set. You have an umbrella, a fridge magnet, pins, and even coasters. But you know what, Sally? This is not for me. I'm sending this via courier over to you in London. I so expect... Rico, this, this I need that umbrella. Very soon. As you know, we all need an umbrella in London. Thank you so much. I'm all? loving it. I'm loving it.